What is the deal with Astra's boxed versus content boxed versus full width contained and full width stretched? We're going to talk about the differences in this video. Um, I have my Astra theme open. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. The first thing I want to alter is a regular post. So I go to posts and I open one up. I'm just gonna view it. And then I'm gonna open the customizer with that post open so I can see the changes that I make. The first thing you'll notice is under global container, you can set a default layout. This isn't that important because we're going to set each type in this video but the container width is important uh, I just went with 1200 and this will set the default width of all of your um, content and containers all right now we're going to go to blog single post because this is what we have open and you'll see boxed boxes the widgets of your sidebar and it boxes the content so your blog post appears with the white background and the widgets have white backgrounds. If you do content boxed, you are only boxing the post, the blog post with the white background and everything else has that site background. And it's going to be inside that 1200. If you choose full width contained, it's going to put both the sidebar and the blog post in the site background or the content background white. And this is the one I'm going to choose. And full width stretched isn't really recommended because that will stretch the content across the screen beyond the 1200. So it will leave this white and you won't be able to tell much difference because my container is not that wide but if you had a large monitor it would stretch it all the way across unless you had a page builder like Elementor where you control the width the container width within Elementor you would choose this and then change the width uh, in, inside that plugin so I'm gonna go with full width contained sidebar uh, right sidebar so that is your blog post the next one that I want to adjust is the blog archive page. So let me go to that page and open it up. This is my post page that I set in WordPress. View that, customize that so that it's open and I can view it. And then we'll go to blog, blog archive page. And again, you got the option to do boxed, content boxed, and full width contained. This is the one I'm going to choose. Uh, by the way, you can adjust these colors in the global color settings. Your site background, this gray, and the content background, this white. I will show you how to do that real quick on a little uh, side quest. If you're using these boxed options, um, you would go to global colors site background is that gray content background is the white all right the last one we need to adjust is the page just as a plain page the default settings for a page so why don't i open up a page go to pages just check out the home page view it um, customize and again, we go to page and this is where we again show if you choose content boxed, you'll see that you, you have that site background color. Uh, I set this page with no sidebars, so it doesn't have a sidebar, but it's still going to limit the container to 1200 and then have that gray on the side. If you choose full with contained, it's going to stretch that page all the way across and that's the one I want and then for sidebar layout for pages no sidebar so I used a sidebar for a single post and for the blog page archive but not for a regular page also keep in mind that when you open up a single page like from 
your dashboard pages and you go to home and you edit it, you could adjust it under this Astra icon, but I would set all of them to customizer setting and just pull it from the customizer. That's for pages, posts, and archive page. That way you'll end up with a consistent layout throughout your site, pulling from the customizer. And sidebar, you can set that to customizer setting too. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I will see you next time.